Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Okay, a piece of metal at a temperature of 100 degrees C is dropped into an equal mass of water at the temperature of 15 degrees C in a container of negligible mass. So uh, there are three things, like one is container, but the mass of the container is neglected. So, so container is not getting heat, it's not getting heated, so we are going to neglect it. And yes, there is water, and we can just assume that the mass of water is M, and the mass of the piece of metal can also be taken as M. The specific heat of water is four times that of metal. So specific heat of water is four times specific heat of metal. What is the final temperature of the mixture? So my dear students, this topic comes from a branch in physics that is known as calorimetry. Calorimetry. And the principle for the calorimetry is the heat lost by the hot body is equal to heat gained by the colder body. Okay, so here metal piece is hotter and water is cold. So let us say uh, the equilibrium temperature which was achieved is capital T. So it means that um, the metal piece has reduced its temperature from 100 to T. So it lost some heat. And the water has increased its temperature from 15 to T. It means it has gained some heat. So the heat lost is equal to heat gained. So first of all, I can write heat lost will be equal to, let us say for the metal piece, mass is M and specific heat of metal heat into delta T. So earlier it was 100. Now it is T, which is lesser than 100. So we have to write 100 minus T. Now you will say that, sir, why have we taken the degree C temperature here, but why are not we converting this thing into Kelvin? And the reason is that the size of the degree for one degree centigrade and the Kelvin is the same. So that is why whenever we are concerned with the delta T, so either you take C degree or you take Kelvin, one is the same thing. Because in delta T, there is no difference. Like there are 100 divisions in 100 degree to 0 degree for Celsius grade and 100 uh, divisions for the boiling point and the melting point for water in the case of Kelvin also. So the size of degree is the same. That is why delta T will be, you can choose in degree C also. Now, what is the heat gained? So heat gained will be M into Cw and T should be more than 15. So just to keep it positive, we are doing T minus 15 now. So these two things must be equal to each other. So M into CM, 100 minus T will be equal to M into CW. Now CW is given as four times the specific heat of metal. So I'm just writing it CM, T minus 15, M, CM, 100 minus T. So this and this gets canceled out. So we are left with this. Five T is equal to 160. So it's 160 divided by 532. It means that the temperature now is 32 degree C. So we have uh, got the answer in degree C only because we were using the centigrade scale and we were not putting the value in Kelvin. That is why. So here the answer will be T. So this is how we will solve this question, my dear students. So if you have any doubt in this topic further, you can ask me in the comment section. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best. Bye.